What's up athletes, welcome back. Warming up the body before these high intensity workouts that we're doing here together on my channel is extremely important. Not only does it prepare the body neurologically for the upcoming intensity, but it also will help us prevent injury long term. Now, I admit, sometimes I neglect my warm up too and I just want to jump right into the workout. But what's really important is that we want to make sure that we're going to do this long term. And by doing that, we want to protect the body and get the body ready. Today, we're going to do a five minute warm up and mobility routine together that you can use as a warm-up to all the HIT workouts that you see on my channel or that you can use as, as a standalone recovery workout going forward. We're going to work for five minutes. We're going to go through 30 seconds of different movements and all you're going to need to follow along today is just your mat. Now athletes, if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe and then maybe tag a friend if you've liked this video so that you have an accountability partner to work out with. Now, just like usual, I'm going to show you your first movement and then you're going to check this box above to see what's coming next. Our first movement today is a walkout. So we're going to stand at the bottom of the mat. We're going to fold forward, maybe bend the knees slightly, but we don't want to come into a full squat. We're going to walk out into a high plank, squeeze the glutes nice and tight here, and then come all the way back up and then stand up. So one more time, we're going to come all the way down. Just avoid dropping the hips like this and then come all the way back up. All right, athletes, are you ready here in three, two, one, let's go. All right, so just breathe. Don't worry about speed right now, especially as we're warming up the body, preparing it for the upcoming intensity. It's not important that we start super fast right away. Instead, think about that posterior chain, trying to elongate it actively, and then driving the breath through the muscles and preparing it for a little bit more of an increased heart rate. All right, now let's come on here to the side of the mat. Go nice and wide and we're gonna go for a skater squat. Now you've seen this before. We do this as one of our movements, sometimes with weights, but today what we're doing is really just opening the hips a little bit actively and then engaging the glutes as well, preparing them again to activate and protect the lower back. Nicely done, good job. Continue to breathe here. All right, now we're gonna bring the legs together. We're gonna place the hands on the knees and we're gonna just go up, out and in. So fold forward, don't put all the weight on the legs, just kind of place the hands gently on the knees and then you notice I'm lifting up the heels and then I'm going out and then bringing the heels back down. So we're mobilizing the ankles, we're mobilizing the knees and then in about five seconds, we're gonna just switch the direction and go the other way. That's it, keep breathing. All right, now let's go the other way. Takes a little bit of mental gymnastics here, but you'll notice that even just moving the legs like this, you are increasing the heart rate. And just preparing that body once more for what's coming. All right, good stuff. And now we're gonna do a spinal roll here in just a moment. So we're gonna stay in this position, hands now on the top of the knees. We're gonna inhale and then exhale, drive the upper back towards the ceiling. And in this position, I'm squeezing my glutes. So I inhale and then I exhale, drive the upper back, squeeze the glutes and then come back. Inhale and exhale. Really working with the breath. Nicely done. Good job. And one more, all the way up. And now here we're gonna roll the shoulders. So up, back, and down. And really feel the contraction in the shoulder. So as you're rolling the shoulder, don't go fast. Because what we're wanting to do is create tension in the little muscles around the scapula. So your rotator cusp. But if I'm going fast like this, I don't have that connection. So go nice and slow. Feel that contraction. Again, just activating all those muscles in the back. Very nice. All right, now we're gonna do what I call the Egyptian. So we're gonna bend this knee and then we're gonna go as far as we can. We're gonna come back, switch direction, and then go the other day, way, switch again. So a bit of mobility here in the shoulders. And you must already feel your breath, 
starting to increase, just really feeling a little bit more connection with the body. And now we're gonna open and then close. Roll the back, pull the shoulder blades apart and then tuck in the pelvis. So open, expand and then close and then continue to breathe here. That's it, nicely done. Inhale, open, and then exhale. Pull the shoulder blades apart. Three, two, one. And now we're gonna do swimmers. So going backwards, and you're rotating the arms. So pinky leads, and now try and stabilize the glutes. So we're trying to dissociate the lats from the lower back. So just the little connections between the shoulder blades and the sacrum and the pelvis. And in just a moment, we're gonna switch directions. Three, two, one. And now let's go the other way forward. So same idea. And then rotating. Now thumb comes down, going through that range of motion around the shoulders, dissociating the shoulder blades from the thoracolumbar fascia. We have fascia that connects the scapula to the sacrum and the low back break. All right, athletes, good work. So remember, go ahead and save this and come back to it. Use this as your warm up, or again, on the day where you're just needing to move, get up from your desk and do a little bit of a recovery. This is a great way to stay active and just really avoid injury long-term. I love to hear from you. So how did you like this today? And how will you incorporate it into your training going forward? Remember to give me a thumbs up if you've liked this and then go ahead and subscribe if you're new here so that we keep training together. All right, athletes, you got this.